Josh at Breaker Sarah. Right now we're gonna go over the Pioneer 8VH4201 NEX. This is a multimedia unit equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a bunch of other features. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here it is. It's the ABH4201 NEX. So in the box, on the outside box, it says 4201 NEX. When you actually open it up, it comes with a camera. And then within that box, there's a box within the box, and it's actually an ABH4200 NEX. So it's the same as last year, just this year they give you the camera. So let's go over some features here. So right now I am in the AM FM portion of it, and it does come with HD radio. You hit this, this is your home button. And as you can see, your sources come up. So we got CD uh, slash DVD. Um, there's USB 1, Pandora, Bluetooth, and then audio video. Now, if you hit that menu there, then you get basically all the options that you could possibly have. If you have these options equipped, then it will light up or it will be highlighted, such as XM Series. This is XM Series Ready. It just does not have the XM Series hooked up. There's not an SD card in it right now. So as you can see, it's not highlighted. So once you plug those things in, it will highlight. All right, so a couple things here. Let's go back to the main menu here. So of course you can uh, tune your station here and also the heart buttons work as well. And the hard buttons actually will do your presets. You can program them to do uh, station by station if you lock on the hard buttons. That's something that's set up in the menu. Now if you go into the equalizer, this does give you a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 band equalizer. Uh, there are a couple presets. Uh, so yeah, uh, Super bass, powerful, natural, vocal, flat, and then you can customize a couple different ones. So if you, let's say, customize this one here, and what's cool about this is you can just kind of slide your finger across it and then um, just uh, go back here, and that's custom one, and then custom two, you can uh, do it as well, and then if you wanted to go back to it, it'll go between the two. Okay, cool. So that's that. And then also, let's go back into the main menu. And if you boot, my Bluetooth was hooked up, I can obviously just hit Bluetooth. I don't think I'm hooked up right now. And then if the Pandora is hooked up. So how it works is if it's with a iPhone, you have to have it plugged in in order for the Pandora to come through. And as you can see, you get some art there and then it'll tell you the, um, the artist and the song that's playing. You can also go to search and then all the all my stations, all your stations will populate here and then it'll, it'll play. Now, if it's on Android, you can use the Bluetooth uh, to hook it up via uh, Pandora or you can hook up, I should say, you can hook up Pandora via Bluetooth. Opposed to with the Apple product, you do have to have it plugged in. But anyway, you probably won't want to use that because the CarPlay is much cooler. So let's get into it. So if you go to CarPlay, all right, so these, these are the icons that pop up. Have your phone, your music, uh, the maps, the uh, text messaging. Um, if you hit that button, that takes you back to the Pioneer menu. Podcast, audiobooks on this phone. It has Amazon Music and also Pandora. So Pandora's a little nicer on here. So as you can see on the radio stations, the art does come up. So if I select there, and it's nice and, and bigger and, and brighter than the uh, than using it on the Pioneer portion of it. So if using, using it on the Apple CarPlay portion, a little bit nicer. But let's go to Amazon Music, same thing. So you have recent music, the artist, my playlist, songs, uh, albums. So here, select and wanna play that, there you go. All right, so those of you that are not familiar with CarPlay, Let's talk about some of the cool features that this has. So on this one, I don't think there's any preloaded music. There might be like some YouTube stuff that is, comes loaded on the phone, right? So obviously you're able to just go through it and select from your library here. All right. And then, um, so on the mapping is cool. So this radio does not have navigation, but you can use the Apple Maps to navigate you. And as you can see, it populates right on the front of the radio so what's kind of cool about this too is let's say for instance you're listening to the fm or you're listening to a cd or you're listening to, to something that's not on carplay you can run the navigation in the background and the the voice guidance will actually override what's going on 
So if it's time to exit, it's time to make a left, time, time to make a right. No matter what source you're in, whether it's CarPlay or on the Pioneer side, the AM, FM, or the CD, it will override the music to tell you where to go. All right, so let's go back here. Starting route to 7305 Vineland here. Avenue. Okay. Head south so that's on that. North Oxnard Boulevard, then make a U-turn at East Colonia Road. I'm going to end this real quick and then I'm going to show you something else. On the CarPlay, you're not allowed to, or they don't allow you to, enter in a destination from the screen. Now, you can definitely do it on your phone, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the safety of CarPlay. So what you can do is this, is you can hold the Siri button down for a couple seconds and that will activate the voice uh, the voice commands and then you can tell it where you want to go. So if you see here, if you haven't noticed, the home button is here off to the, uh, the left uh, bottom corner. And if you hold that button in, it'll activate here. Directions to the nearest gas station near me. The closest one I found is 76 on North Oxnard Boulevard. Is that the one you're looking for? Yes. Getting directions to 76. Okay, so now it's gonna reroute me and then I hit go and that'll take me. Starting to route to 76. Head south on North Oxnard Boulevard. Now on then here, the if you wanted to turn right. down the alerts a little bit, you could do that here as well, so it's not so loud. Um, so once you hit the volume, how you activate that is you hit the volume here, and then the alerts will pop up, and then from there you can adjust. Cool. All right, so let's go back. So I'm gonna hit the home button here. It's gonna take me back to the menu. And then on the text messaging, you can do all text messaging through uh, the radio. Would you like to hear your unread messages or create a new one? Create a new one. To whom should I send your message? Juan Belfort. What do you want to say? Testing, comma, send me something back. Your message to Juan Belfort says, Testing, send me something back. Ready to send it? Yes. I'll send it. Okay, so as you can see, um, you can totally text with just um, a touch of the Siri button and it does everything else from you. I'll keep going and hopefully he'll text me back and you'll see how it comes to. It's actually kind of cool. All right, so let's go back to the home button. And then, so we went over all that. Let's go back into the, uh, the Pioneer uh, portion of it. And we talked about the equalizer. Obviously, you can add a camera, backup camera to this. Um, and then if you do hook up your backup camera, you do have to have to activate it. There is a secondary camera um, you can add to it. So if you want to do a front camera or something of that nature, you're able to do that. You just got to activate it. And then um, there's some options here as far as uh, parking guidance lines and uh, reverse video. Okay, so that's that. And then as far as the themes are concerned, you can pick the background, the illumination, the color, and then uh, the splash screen color. So if you wanted to change that. Okay, so cool. So he texts me back. So if, uh, if I want to read this message, all I'm going to do is just tap that there and it'll read it back to me. Juan Belfour said, Hi, Josh. Want to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? Thanks. Your reply to Juan Belfour says, Thanks. Ready to send it? Yes. I'll send your message. So you can see, you, you get a text message. Uh, you can just reach over to the screen, tap it once. Siri is going to do the rest for you. We'll talk you through the rest. So that's really, really cool feature on um, that Apple CarPlay uh, or that Apple came up with with their CarPlay. All right. So where were we? Let's go back to the settings. We're just going to go through a couple things here. Splash screen. Uh, if I wanted to have that, you can also upload as well through a USB or an SD card. So if you wanted it to say like if you have a Toyota, the Toyota logo could come up or whatnot, you can do whatever you like, or pictures of your family or alright, so that's taking a little long, so I'm just gonna try to exit out of here. I mean not let me. Okay, there you go. So we're good. So now uh, to sound, we talked about the equalizer already uh, on here. There's a subwoofer. If you have a subwoofer, you have to turn it on or off, um, depending if you have one or not. And then the crossovers. So let's talk about crossovers. So on this radio, you can use the crossovers to either hook up to your aftermarket amplifier, or if you don't have an aftermarket amplifier, you can still cross over the speakers that are hooked to the power of the radio, which is kind of a cool feature. So let's say you wanted to add some bass, but not too much, and you wanted to uh, not have to buy a secondary amp before channel amp, 
for your inside speakers. This will allow you to remove a lot of the bass through the crossover system. Show you how it works. So right now, uh, let's go and turn it on. All right, and that's the front, and we're going 63, and then, and you can select the the slope. All right, all right. So, so that's the front. You can also select the rear, um, in the same way. So if you wanted to do the rear, oh, you gotta turn it on first. So turn it on, and then you put the the uh, frequency you want to boost, and you do that by going like this, or not boost, I should say, cut off. So let's say we're at 160 and let's go 12 dB. And then on the subwoofer, uh, let's say we wanted at 80. That's normally where we set, we set it. And 12 dB. There you go, 80 and 12 dB. This way, cool. All right, so that's how that works. So that's a cool feature to have, especially if you don't have a amplifier. All right, so let's go back. And if you do, then it just gives you the ability to control it at the radio opposed to at the amplifier. All right, so that's pretty much it. It also does have time, time alignment. It's got some preset listening positions. So um, as you can see that these are just preset here, 47 inches from the middle of the speaker to the headrest and here 61 inches from the middle of the speaker to the headrest. Now, if you really want to get an accurate uh, uh, measurement, then obviously you would just go into your vehicle, take a tape measure, uh, measure from the center of the the speaker and then all the way up to the middle of the headrest is where I normally um, measure from and then you just do each corner right there so that is how that is done if you do it correctly it can sound pretty awesome if you don't do it correctly it, it can kind of be funky and I've done it where I've used it and done it correctly and it doesn't sound so good so you know it's all preference each car is different each and um, each car has different phasing so just keep that in mind all right, cool. All right, so that's that. That is the Pioneer um, AVH 4201NEX. And I think I've got the backup camera hooked up to this. Oh, actually I don't. Um, but anyway, when you when you go to the, when you hit reverse, it goes to the, uh, the backup camera. Uh, right now the camera's not hooked up, but it does interrupt it when I hit the switch here. Okay, that's that. Let's talk about Android Auto. Okay, so let's go over the Android Auto feature on this radio here. So this is your home screen. If you hit this, this goes to your navigation and in Android Auto, it uses Google Maps. As you can see, then you have your phone call button that'll take you back to the homepage and then also uh, your music. All right, so let's go really quick to the navigation, show you how that works. Now with Android Auto, you're not able to enter in the address or the point of interest on the face of the radio. You could do it on the phone, but that kind of defeats the purpose. So what you can do is you can hit the microphone button and either tell it a direction or give it an address, I should say, or you can give it a point of interest. So if I tap this here, directions to the nearest gas station near me. 76 is one minute from your location by car in light traffic. All right, there, and it'll take me right to it. Okay. Let's go back to the phone calls here. And so as you can see, this is a list of the history. Uh, if you tap that there, uh, then you can go to the voicemail, dial a number, uh, call history, missed calls, uh, things of that nature. All right. And then again, that takes you back to the home. And then if you got music, it's a, it'll play your music. All right, you tap that there, and then it'll give you a listing of music that's available and then you can thumbs up th thumbs down here as well all right cool and then that button will prompt this screen that will can take you back to the pioneer home screen all right so if you're interested in this unit and you're local come by 465 north oxnard boulevard in oxnard if you're shopping online go to breakersmobile.com if you want to make payments no problem we have easy financing no credit good credit bad credit all credit is good credit just go to our website you can apply now and get approved instantly thanks for watching this is josh from breaker stereo